This is Anil speaking. Welcome back to the demo videos of my grocery list application. In the previous video, you had seen how to create a sample grocery list and add items to that particular grocery list. In this particular video, we will see some more functionalities that are part of this particular application. More often than not, you don't create a new grocery list each and every time you go for shopping. Once you create a list, you tend to use same list again and again just to avoid creating new list from the scratch. That is exactly what I have tried to achieve in this particular application. Assume that this is a sample list. It already contains few of the items that you have added in this particular list. To create uh, another list with the same contents, you need not have to create once again a new sample list and then adding the items in that particular list. Instead of that, what you can do is do a long click on the existing sample list and then there is an option called clone. And all you have to do is select the clone option and you will get the clone of the sample list and it will contain exactly the same items that you had put in the earlier. To rename the sample list, once again long press, select the rename option. You can give a new name to this particular sample list that you have created. Let's call it as a next month list and it will contain the same values and if at all you want to delete the list once again long click on the list and select the delete option. It will give you a confirmation pop-up dialog box and say OK and that will delete the newly created list or for that matter any list that you select for the deletion. Other than these options of renaming a list and say cloning a list, there are all multiple other options that I have added in this particular application. To show that let me create an empty list and if at all I want to add items to empty list from the sample list, I can go to sample list then select the items that I want to move. Assume that I want to move tomato ketchup, select long click. There is an option like copy to another list and move to another list. Copy to another list will move tomato ketchup to the another list. So let me select copy another list. It will show the other list name. If I select the empty list, it will show a toast message saying that successfully added to the another list. You can observe that the tomato ketchup item is still there in the sample list and if you go back to the empty list you can observe that the tomato ketchup has been added. Now there is an another option instead of copy I can choose move. So when I do move there is a slight difference instead of retaining it in the current list it will delete it from the current list and then it will move it to the other list. So you can see that the vinegar item doesn't exist in the sample list anymore. Just to confirm, if you go back to the empty list, you can see that the tomato and vinegar have been added here. Now to delete, all you have to do is select by long click on the vinegar and say delete that will delete that particular item from the list. 
if at all you want to modify click once again modify option what you can modify is only the quantity you cannot change the name you cannot change the category you cannot even change the quantity type instead of one if at all you want to have two packs you can do that and click on the modify button that will change the quantity of that particular item and once again you can select and delete it you can observe that now the empty list is actually empty this is the list that I have created just for the demo purpose I can just select it and delete it so this is uh, another set of functionalities that could be quite useful for a grocery shopper